So this short web tutorial is going to show you how to start putting your website together for your Lit Circle group project. Uh, you'll notice I have a folder with uh, some of the elements that I've already created uh, in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into Drive, we're going to go to New, More, and Google Sites. This is going to open up a new Google Site, and if you haven't used the new Google Sites, they're much more user-friendly than the old version. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to name this Gatsby, and I want to share this with my group member. So I can use the little share guy and go ahead and invite people just as you would in the other doc. Now you are a little bit limited in terms of the fonts and things that you have. Um, and you'll see I can change uh, from a title to a heading. But I really am a little bit limited in terms of uh, what I can put in here. Now there are other themes that I can pick if I want. I can change the colors. But I'm just going to leave what I have for right now. Um, and what we're going to do is instead of using uh, one of the headers that they have, I'm going to delete this text box here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to insert from Drive. Uh, I've made a Google drawing uh, as my cover and my header. It's got uh, teacher name or well, uh, group name. That's got the name of the book and some images that I've put together for this. So I'm going to go back to my website. I'll find these uh, in the recent section of my Drive, and here's my Gatsby cover. I'll go ahead and insert that. Uh, because this is going to be the header, I'm going to drag it up to the top, and I can resize it to make it larger or smaller if I want, so we'll make it nice and big. Perfect. Now below that, I'm going to add some text, and this is going to be the summary. And we'll make this one a title. I'm also going to make the background blue, and I'm going to center it. So below this will be my video or slides. Uh, or screencast, depending on which elements you decide to use. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go again, uh, insert from Drive, I'll find it in my recents, and I actually already have made uh, the Gatsby video. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Again, I can drag this and make this nice and big. Now, if you want to preview uh, any of the videos or anything, you have to use the preview eyeball and see what your website looks like live. Um, these elements in the drawing should be reflected. Now, it's not exactly real time, but it'll the changes will take um, effect relatively quickly. So, if I wanted to change this drawing, uh, I don't actually have to change the website again. Those changes should reflect on the website. If I go to preview, you'll see what my website's actually going to look like. You can even preview for what it looks like on mobile if you'd like to. So, we scroll down. I can hit the play button. And my video should play. But I'm going to stop that for right now. Okay. So